Yo, what up, yo? It's your boy DJ Quiz. We're here outside of AliasRadio.net. We're in the hallways. The show's going on right now. It's kind of noisy, so we're in the hallways doing this real interview right here. So, I got my man, Harlem's Cash. In the building with me right now. Harlem, what up, baby? Chillin', how are you? I'm good, be good. See, I know Harlem, Cash, but I'm gonna be real ignorant with it and it'll be a real introductory mm-hmm. interview right now. Yeah. You're gonna tell me where it all started, where it began, yeah. where you're gonna finish off, and what's the movies looking like. So, first and foremost, your name, Harlem's Cash. Harlem's Cash. Um, originated from the derivative, we're gonna use big words and all that. Okay. It started from Cash, you know what I'm saying? My name was Cash. I was running around the mixtape scenes with DJ L, my man Low Deluxe, the Kid Daytona. We was in a group called the Aces, you know what I'm saying? And while we was in the Aces and taking meetings at labels, we ran into Def Jam where Tina Davis was um, working up at the time. And when we walked in, she was like, boom, I already know where y'all from. When I walked in, I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, y'all from Harlem. (laughs) I was like, yo, it's crazy that she knew what she wants. She said, the way you dress, the way y'all walk, the way y'all talk, everything's Harlem's. And since that day, the Harlem's cash. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Well, you said Daytona. Yeah. Uh, I'm a, I'll am be real with you. I'm, I'm a fan of Daytona. Mm-hmm. What, when was that group popping? What happened to the group? Um, Why did you guys decide to break up? And You know what I'm saying? The Aces, we've been, we've been rocking heavy since like 2000. You know what I'm saying? We was young kids running around Harlem battling. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I battled dudes like J Mills, T Rex, Vado. Um, Corey Guns, J.R. Ryder, Ooh. the list goes on and on. Fred the Godson, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? All these dudes, you know what I'm saying? We were just running around, like, killing dudes and sometimes getting killed, you know what I'm saying? Look, we can't take all um, W's, we gotta take L's, you know what I'm saying? Of course. But, yeah, we was doing our thing and then, like, ego started getting in the way, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody was like, yo, I want this dude, I want this dude, I want this dude. So, everybody started doing their own thing. They told us in Miami with Buster, Lux is flying over here, I'm over here. Right. Everybody doing their own thing. And we got to a point where our creative vision wasn't the same no more. Right. Like, we all still cool, you know what I'm saying? Much luck to everybody, everybody doing their thing. Right. You see us on each other's tracks, but we had to take our, you know what I'm saying, our separate paths and try to get what we got to get. Now, new track you're working on right now? Yeah, new album, Harlem Wood, California. Okay. It's coming coming out crazy. Now, how did that come about? How did it come together and all that I'm saying, if you, if you look, I don't look like an average Harlem dude. If you not at all, you know not at all. This kid is fresh right here. I'm kid. looking like I'm in the hills with Spidey or something, Spidey Spencer <laughs> and all that. You know what I'm saying? So, the whole thing was like, I'm a Harlem dude to the core still. You know what I'm okay. saying? Still street dudes, still all that. But my whole attitude is Hollywood. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, the whole thing is like, I want y'all to get into my mind with me. Harlem with California. That's where it all came from. Hopefully when they hear it, mm-hmm. joints like feels like when y'all when I start releasing more records, you know what I'm saying, y'all get a whole big picture of Harlem with California. Inspirations. I know there's every rapper got the, you know, the that dude who, yo, inspired me to do this. Who's that one dude or who's that artist that made you wanna rap, spit, do all that stuff you love right now? Y'all would even know him. Nah. Y'all don't even know him. Dude from my Quiz wife. me. It's DJ Quiz. You know Quiz me. It's a dude that he's now on the battle scene. You know okay. what I'm saying? It's a dude named Head Ice. Head you know Ice. what I'm saying? He was a dude that was like an old head on my block. You know what I'm saying? He taught dudes like Lux. All these dudes put us under our wing, put us under his wing, and like showed us the whole whole thing of it. Like, it's more than just rhyming. Some of you, you gotta have that swag with you, your walk, your talk, yeah. everything gotta be crazy. That's the dude who started me rhyming. But as far as being an artist, all around artist, I give it to Ye, Hov, even Wayne. Mm-hmm. Even Wayne, just Wayne's drive. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like seeing him, like when I was in early high school, I remember him, he was like my age, you know what I'm saying? Right. He was like younger than me. No, he was old. Well, however old he say he is, <laughs> I don't know how old dude is. But, True indeed. But he was like a young dude and I just see his progression Anything's possible with this music, man. He went from being not even mentioned okay. to being the illest dude, you know what I'm saying? Now, how you feel about, you know, the whole world is buzzing right now on Drake. And we got Drake in the background right now, mm-hmm. so what, what is your, your, your take on Drake? I like Drake for years. Yeah? You know what I'm saying? I remember him on the Barry Bonds freestyle years ago. Like, when dude, when you say his name, the people like, yo, what, Degrassi? He'd be like, no, he was rhyming for a mad long time, but yeah. y'all didn't notice he got a co-sign because that's because this industry and people be riding. Ah. They ride, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, probably no one's gonna hear about me, but five years now, oh, all those guys, I'm not, 
t- next year, all, 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 you're gonna be like, I've been told you about this dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's right. how it be. But I feel, dude, his, his creativity is ill. The whole singing and rapping is definitely fire. Mm-hmm. I'm wishing the best. You know what I'm saying? He's paving the way for a lot of dudes that's gonna come up. I mean, see, when you when you said when you mentioned your inspiration, I, and, and it's, to me, it's kind of amazing. You said none of the Harlem rappers now. Mm-hmm. Why is that? They had no influence on you. Not really. Cause I mean, is it something about the Harlem rappers home? that's out right now are not lyrical to me? No. No. They no one no one has said something that makes me say, oh shit. I gotta go on the booth and write something better than that. So not Jim Jones, Jewel. Nah, I mess with Jim. I mess with Jim though, but not on that level. Not on that level. Nah, not on that level. I was gonna think yo, he's an ill lyricist. I, right. I think he's an ill dude as far as where he came from. Okay. From being a background dude to being an upfront dude to pushing the other dude backwards. Mm-hmm. I get out of here. You know what I'm saying I mess with that, but as far as lyric, he don't make me just be like yo, I'm the right. Okay. He don't do that. Even new Hove don't make me do that. Really? Old Hove. Old Hove. Old Hove. All right. Well, you know what it is, man. It's your boy DJ Quiz, my man Harlem's Cash. Yeah. Yo, let them know where they can find you at, your, your MySpace or whatever, your emails, the website. If MySpace is still popping, you can find me. I mean, let me rewind that. Yeah. Your Facebook, your Twitter, <laughs> let, them know, let them know all that, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Twitter.com backslash Harlem's Cash. Facebook, search me on there, I'm on there. MySpace.com backslash Harlem's Cash, Harlem's Cash.com. Harlemwood, California coming soon, and you're going to see me all over. DJ Quiz, A-List Radio. <laughs> I'm gonna be on there soon because I'm bold garden. Make it happen, Captain. We talk about money, here it is, baby. <laughs> Bong Cad, yeah. Today a fiend walked up to me, smelling in these soap and said, hey, got any Harlem's cash, she's dope.